I don't know how happy I am that I do not play myself that oh you know I can go to Nigerian stores here to do what to do what <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Temi. Temi here. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome to this beautiful channel. Today I'm going to be filming a relocation Q and A. I made you guys ask me questions on Instagram, and you guys answered. So I'm here to answer your questions. So just a minute while wow, the sun is coming up. Now that I decided to film, it's not having the brightness. Guess what? <laughs> I'm going to film this video like that, okay? Yeah. See, this song is really playing me. Since I've gotten here, everybody has been giving me advice upon advice upon advice. I'm like, you guys, calm down. I'm not a baby. I'm nearly 30, okay? If you see, the, don't eat too much, don't do this too much, don't take chocolate too much, you will be robust, you will be obese. I've been receiving advice upon advice. But there are some good ones. I'm not saying every advice is, you know, too much. There are some good ones that are like, oh, for your cheapest something, something, something. Those are the type of advice me I want to be having. Where I can buy cheap things. Not cheap things. Like affordable. I need to stop using the word cheap because nothing is cheap. Affordable. Because I'm trying to save money. Where I can get, you know, discount card, student discount, things like that. Not your Owasabi advice. I don't want to hear it, okay? So, just to make this video not too serious, I'm going to be having coffee as I answer you guys' questions. I'm trying to navigate where the questions are because, oh, God. Using Instagram now is, is hard. It's like a selling a app like Alibaba. <laughs> like an alibaba now so you have to be careful so i've gotten to the first question the first question says i don't know if i should read out you guys names um this one is from ruth i know ruth she went to the same school how do you find and pay for your apartment in the uk from nigeria so yes i paid for my apartment here from nigeria i just made a deposit of 200 pounds here and how did i find out there are sites where the school gives us it's well, sometimes on our portal just links where you can use to get houses around here close to the school so from that link you see link to another another link of another house so it's just a big rabbit hole where you just be searching till you find what you can but some houses they have filters where you can put students accommodation and suits and you will get what you want again another way of getting accommodation is knowing some someone around here i know someone around here who's who has schooled here for more than a year so he was also able to tell me that oh this house is really nice he knows people who have stayed here and he said it is nice which it is that was how i was able to get the house then pay for it i reached out to the letting agency my friend and i we reached out to the letting agency and told them oh i'm interested in this house so they asked for you some documents we provided the documents and um, once it's complete with your guarantor you pay the deposits of 200 pounds and that's just like the like caution deposit that is with them it's not part of your rent so when you come mm, you will not pay your rent the next question is food stuff what did you pack i don't know if you watched my own packing video but I, even my packing video i packed a lot of food stuff which i am so grateful to god for oh my god you don't know how happy i am that i did not play myself that oh you know i can go to nigerian stores here to do what to do what <laughs> I'm happy the way I packed my own food here because it's not like their food is not good but some of them are stale you know that it's just for commercial purposes not for <laughs> to eat and digest the way me I packed my own I packed a lot how what did I pack so I packed Ogbono, Egusi, Cameroon pepper, red pepper, pepper soup spice, suya spice, panla, catfish, smoked catfish I brought indomie, I bought gari and uh, that's one of the reasons why my bag was very very heavy if you watch my relocation vlog i'm going to leave a link here i had to pay for excess luggage i didn't disclose how much i paid that was 
according to your own discretion when you are traveling then go share with whoever is going to help you do your excess luggage i paid for excess luggage and i'm grateful that i paid for that excess luggage and carried all my things at once especially my food at once look the sun is just shining I, i'm not understanding it didn't shine all this while it's even outside in front of this camera <laughs> it's now shining like this now half the sh oh my god what is this hey god the devil is a liar hey Hey, okay, we'll continue anyhow. So that was how I was able to pack my food stuff, or that is the food stuff I packed. How are you coping with new responsibilities, rent, and all? My dear, it isn't easy. Why should I be paying rent when I am not a parent? Eh? But you know, one day, one day, the adulthood will hit you full time. Hey, God. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I know you can still see me, but I close the blind. The moment the sun, you know, decides to behave well, I'll open the blind again. But this video, I must film it. As long as you guys can hear me and you can see me, my my quality is good. That's one thing I don't joke with. My quality is good. So it's the sun that is just doing me anyhow. Where was I? How are you able to cope? Um you can see I'm Uploading videos back to back now on YouTube because I know I can't play with it again. I need my coins from YouTube and I'm looking for a job at the moment. I'm trying to get a job so I can carry on with my responsibilities. The money I brought from Nigeria over here, I paid for almost all my rent. Like I just said, let me just pay for this rent because I know I have to have a roof over my head. I was able to buy food stuff and you know plus the one i brought from home is going to be sufficient till i get a job i'm very sure of that so once i get a job i'll be i'll be i'll be okay more than okay how did you go about the relocation stuff this is an entire video on its own i've been filming some some sort of videos about relocation how to relocate the cost of relocation and so on so if you are diligent enough you will check out this video in fact i'm going to leave the um, the um, playlist relocation i named it relocation so if you are diligent enough you will check out that video so you might answer some of your questions because it's a long questions so i'll answer it as brief as, as i come bayer underscore cool said how did you go about the relocation stuff First of all, I looked for a university that was affordable. After I found a university, I paid the money, did all my checks, paid my money for IHS and visa, got a visa, bought a plane ticket, bought my stuff, and I came down here. How much do you think one should budget if he or she wants to relocate? Just underscore Ibukun underscore well it depends on where you are going to number one at the school because some schools here most of the schools in my area is cheap manchester you know leeds hall huddersfield bradford most of them are affordable let me put it that way you know liverpool they are affordable and cost of living is you know okay but if you want to go to London, have your coins. So if you are diligent enough, you will check this cost of relocation I will link here or the playlist I linked earlier. That should answer a lot of your question. But roughly, mm, roughly, you should budget 6 to 10 million and you can pay that money it's not at once you will drop that six to ten million as a single applicant it's in bits you know everything comes in bits your deposits in bits your ihs in bits your tuberculosis it's not once you will drop all the money but from now if you're planning to relocate from now as i'm speaking start saving that money i think the sun has gone down yes it's better now okay so do you plan on coming back soon of course i'll come and greet you people in lagos why did you relocate i relocated to um take my masters do my masters 
um from the same just underscore book underscore a day or la momo fitness says where is the best city country i can relocate to and get my current hustle progressively turned mad hey god so the answer to that question is i don't know the country of me i don't know what your hustle is what you are relocating for i only know about masters if you are relocating to the uk for masters if you google and um, other countries where you can get your hustle turned <laughs> i'm very sure you can find it but you can find schools in norway finland you know up in, um, north all those cold places most of them have tuition free schools so you can probably check those out so about the city also yeah check it out i'm sorry i do not have information for you on this question the next one says what school are you in and what made you choose this school it was ng um i chose this school i'm in school of business i chose this school because it is affordable it's something that i i and my parents my family could you know comfortably pay comfortably pay we could gather money and you know sort everything out with ease so let me put it that way chile and bank says total cost it will it costs where we it costs <laughs> So the total cost of moving here so far, I don't know, but I linked the video, total cost of moving here. Please check the links where I linked some videos is there, total cost of moving to the UK for masters. So, so far the amount I spent like five to six million Naira and I'm still going to spend more because my school fees is in installments. So and that is just a single applicant and now I hope you know you can relocate as a family for even masters once there's a single applicant the rest of the family members are the primary dependents they can move with you so if you are moving as a family it's going to cost you more so that's the cause did you relocate for studies or work at Debu Kola yes I relocated for studies how did you do it um I found this is from Kani Cunningham how did you do it i found a school applied paid school fees applied for visa and you know bought my flight ticket and came here priscilla cardon says what was you relocating what was you i think you want to say what was your relocating budget like my relocating budget was like <laughs> it was like save everything you know so that once they ask you for any money you can provide it immediately so my budget was well, how my budget was like 10 10 million naira so from there i was you know paying this paying that paying this paying that i'm not saying you need to have that 10 million naira now 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 but if you have like if you have like five four you can start your process and from there when you make more money you'll be able to you know enter and finish <laughs> Yomi underscore flame says, How can I make one million pounds in my first year? Madu, <laughs> please, if you know how to do it, come back tell me. Even me, I'm leaving how to make one million pounds in my first year. I'm sorry. Hair dot affair says, What school are you in and what city are you in? I'm in Manchester. Oida Mola says, How did you get a place to stay? I looked up um, student accommodation in my area from my university portal, called the agents spoke with her sent all the necessary papers she asked for paid my deposit and my rent and moved here where in the uk are you i'm in manchester this is from s richard then uh, mess mr sinu says what are the things allowed <laughs> and things not allowed in your bag at the airport are you kidding <laughs> am i fan <laughs> Anyways, this is part of the question. The things allowed in your bag, I really don't know, but just know that once you are carrying food and you know those cargo people notice you are carrying food, you are going to pay two thousand naira per bag. And that one is not like they are collecting bribe or anything, it is there. If you are carrying food items to once they see it is in a plenty quantity, it's called cargo and you pay two thousand naira per bag. So if you have three bags, you pay six thousand naira. 
that's that then the things allowed don't carry palm oil please don't carry palm oil it is very very you know what's the word you are not being considerate is wrong to carry palm oil and some airlines will not even allow you if you carry it and you catch you you might pay a fine because once it spills it can you know spill into other people's bags and soil their belongings and spill into the airplane and soil the airplane and you you know how palm oil is you cannot remove the palm oil in one one wipe or one one wash and it is like um a fire starter how would i put it like in nigeria sometimes we use palm oil to start fire so it is dangerous so it's not just being inconsiderate it is also dangerous for you to carry palm oil so please don't carry palm oil then things you're allowed to be carry your clothes carry your food carry your laptop carry your makeup carry your shoe i don't know if you need more information, check the airline you might be flying. Probably they'll provide more information for you. I don't know. I don't work with fan. I don't work with any airline. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much. That is all the questions I have on my phone. Thank you guys for sending in your questions. I really enjoyed this video. Some were funny. And... The sun is still out there shining so i guess I, we have to end this video like this and we've come to the end of this video if you have any questions for me whatsoever feel free to send me or leave the questions in your comment section so that other people can learn from it you can send me an email i might answer you i'm not promising you can send me an email if you have other video suggestions please leave them in the comment section down below if it's your first time here eh and you yeah, are planning to watch and click out i advise you to not do that because i'm vibes subscribe to my channel all right give this video a thumbs up i will see you in the next one don't forget to check the links i put in the up somewhere up so they might be down also you can click my description down they'll appear there and i'll see you in my next one bye